page. Most explosively, Hutchinson recounted what she said Deputy Chief of Staff Tony Ornato, a Secret Service agent, told her about Trump's actions after his speech outside the White House on January 6th. That Trump demanded to be taken to the Capitol, where Trump supporters were already breaching barricades, and what he did when the Secret Service refused. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. Did you seek testimony from Tony Ornato or Robert Engel uh, to corroborate or to refute what she said? Um, I don't want to get into too many details. Uh, the committee has spoken to both uh, Mr. Ornato and Mr. Engel, and um, we uh, welcome additional testimony um, under oath from both of them and from anybody else in the Secret Service who has information about any of these issues. Do you expect that that testimony will be live testimony under oath, like, like her testimony, and for the world to see? How is that going to happen? Look, we, we have been working with the Secret Service. We've interviewed, as I said, a number of individuals in the Secret Service. Um, we will continue to do so. And um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. I'm Brian, and of course, Steve Kane is here. I was just reading, Steve, listen to this. The January 6th committee is coming back. All right, listen to this. Um, I got it right here. Listen to this. This is in the Washington Examiner. The next January 6th, Select committee hearing will be held on July 12th, following a two-week hiatus to process new evidence. That's what they've been doing. They've been processing new evidence, Steve. The committee announced Tuesday that the sixth hearing in its summer series will take place one week hence at 10 a.m. Adam Schiff says it will focus on right-wing groups who were at the Capitol on the day of the riot. Um, nothing here. They're going to talk about the Proud Boys, the Three Percenters. I don't know who the Three Percenters are. I've heard of the Proud Boys. I don't see anything here, though, about the Secret Service men being called to talk about the Hutchinson testimony. Hmm. You know, they're really stupid on this committee. Everyone knows what, what happened with uh, Hutchinson and the Secret Service guy. It's in all the news media. And for them not to call either of them looks like what it is. I mean, it looks like they're involved in a cover-up, right? I mean... Okay, how are they going to be able to call the secrets? Well, you, you would think they would, they would feel obligated to since everybody knows that they refuted everything she said. Everybody doesn't know. We know because we follow it closely. Our people know because they follow it closely, but not everybody knows. If you follow the news, if you follow the news, you know... There's, if, if you're a new, and the only people that are watching the hearings are people that follow the news. You know, it's, it's the same with all of these things. It's, it's a pattern. Steve uh, Kane Show. The first impeachment, the second impeachment. You get all these Steve Kane Show. charges. You get Steve all these Kane investigations Show. going. They spend millions of dollars and all this Steve stuff. Kane Show. Spreading misinformation Steve Kane Show. throughout the land. Hello? And Hold on. In the end, when everything is investigated, there's never anything there. But see, in this case, all they've got to do is get through the primary period yeah. and, and knock off a couple of keys. This thing is very carefully orchestrated. They know what they're doing, and they're going to give it their best. No, I, I think it's it, it carefully orchestrated. I think this is a big blunder. It, what's going to happen is when, when the MAGA Republicans take over in November, there is going to be an investigation of this investigative body, the January 6th sham committee. If, if, when they get to that point, the thing is over because they're going to disband the, with the new Congress. They're going to mm -hmm. disband the committee. That's not the problem. The problem is how much damage will be done by spreading misinformation prior to that happening. The only damage being done is to themselves. Uh, this story about the Secret Service men, anyone who follows news even a little bit knows about it. And for them just to skip over them like that didn't happen... 
it, they've given credibility to our position that it's a kangaroo committee. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. Um, I think it is important that their testimony be under oath. When the MAGA Republicans take over in November, there is going to be an investigation of this investigative body, the January 6th sham committee.